What is up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gad Talks. Today we are going to be comparing two very similar, but different in styles, um, fitness trackers bracelets. Uh, we're taking a f look on these bracelets because we're going to see which of these is going to be a very good fit for you in terms of both uh, tracking fitness activities and wearing um, one of these watches out to hang out, so using it both as a watch and a fitness tracker. And before we begin today, if you guys have not yet already, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be coming up with new weekly videos on the latest gadgets, electronics, and smartwatches. And if you guys do want to purchase one of these watches after this video, you guys can use my affiliate link below, which would take you to eBay, and trust the sellers and I will earn a commission at no extra cost to you. Now let's begin. For introductions, we're going to have the Y6 Pro smartwatch steel banded fitness tracker on the left. And we're going to have the H66 or P3 Plus. Uh, it seems like they actually have two different names for the same model on the right. And they go and they both for, go for under $40 depending on the website and seller that you choose to get it from. Now let's begin. We're going to first start off by looking at the Y6 Pro right here and seeing how it looks and what the functions include and how easy it would it be to actually navigate through these functions. So this is a uh, IP67 waterproof. What that means is it can sustain um, water, but not submerged into, into, you know, obviously swimming. So we're gonna see how this watch gets put on. Um, this watch operates off a magnet, so it's not your standard steel watch band lock, but it's a magnet, which is, makes it a lot easier once you find a magnet and can just really snap it on any part of the steel band. And this watch is a semi touch screen, so what that means is you really have to navigate through uh, the functions through just this one little section right here. So we're going to look at some of the functions that this watch has to offer and how to use some of them. So going back to home watch screen here, if you want to just browse through the functions, uh, which will have steps, calories, distance, sleep monitor, your heart rate monitor, your blood pressure monitor. So if you want to use one of these functions, you will just have to long press on any of these functions and get a reading, for example. So this one is going to come up with the reading for us in about 30 seconds. Now, I do want to mention that this watch is uh, very nice for both a guy and lady because it's not too small or big, so it could fit as a unisex watch. So that's how you get a reading, which does not seem like it's really off from my expectations. But of course, for any reading that you get from these watches, you want to cross-reference it with something else that you kind of already trust before relying on these readings any further. So for interface-wise, I do like this watch. It was very easy to navigate through. I did not have to read the instruction manual to get through most of the functions, which is a big plus. Now let's see uh, the H66 slash P3 activity tracker, which is kind of unique in, in its own sense because first of all, uh, you can pretty much charge without any wires. Uh, what I mean by that is there is a, you can really just snap off, snap off the band here. And with this part of um, your fitness tracker, you can actually connect it to a open USB port and start charging. So no wires needed so when you get this watch, uh, don't be surprised that you don't see any wires because you really just have to connect your band here with a uh, open USB port to get charging, which is kind of cool. You don't have to you don't have to you know bring any wires every time you go uh, out with this watch. Now let's put this on and see how it feels. Now this is obviously going to be more of a fitness tracker than a watch, but if you don't mind, actually wearing your fitness tracker out to hang out um this might be the option for you 
It's a little hard to put it on. Yep, it looks like the band is kind of stuck in a way, which is not a plus. Okay, finally have it on. There you go. Now, let's see if we can navigate through some of the functions that this watch has to offer. Has your steps functions, calorie, uh, distance, calories, multi-sports. I believe you want to long press on um, you know, any, any of these functions again to actually uh, get into the functions themselves. Now the user interface on this uh, wristband is not as friendly as the Y6 Pro. You really have to kind of get used to the interface here to kind of um, get what it's doing. This is your uh, blood pressure monitor, which will come back to your heart rate monitor and your, and your message notifications. Now we're going to show you how to uh, use the blood pressure monitor, which you just long press on the button here to have a reading come to you shortly. Now remember the reading that we got from the Y6 Pro is about like under 120, almost 120 on the higher number and under 80 on the lower number if I remember correctly. Let's say we're going to get about the same numbers. So about the same numbers, uh, so if we can cross-reference uh, both readings here, it seems they're pretty close. So that's a good sign. And your uh, blood pressure, uh, your heart rate monitor as well, which we're not going to do here. Um, so that's pretty much it for the basic functions on the H66 smartwatch. Now, which of these fitness trackers would I prefer? Uh, for something under $40, I do prefer the Y6 Pro because I can actually wear this. It looks like a watch. Um, it looks like a nice watch anyways, and it does most of the functions that the, uh, this fitness tracker smart band does. Even though this uh, H66 smart band does have some pretty unique um, features like wireless charging, I can just pull off the band here and just connect it to an open USB port. And this one is more waterproof than this because this is actually IP68, so you can actually take it for swimming. But I still do prefer that you know, I can wear something for both the gym and as a watch, and I don't really go out for swimming anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. So in that sense, I do choose the Y6 Pro over uh, this smart band right here for under $40. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.